My name is Bruce McGinnis. I'm an American and a uh, friend of uh, uh, Dr. Shin and his uh, uh, son and, uh, and uh, daughter-in-law. And uh, I, it's really a pleasure to speak to the students of MUN. Um, I, I know that uh, you're interested in, by being in MUN, you're interested in international affairs and in uh, learning uh, foreign languages and improving your English. And I think it's a, a great way to, uh, uh, to do that and to learn about international affairs. Uh, and uh, to, it, it's wonderful to do it at a young age. I love to travel. And I know uh, you, uh, many of you are looking forward to going to New York to visit uh, the UN. And one thing we learn when we travel or when we study diplomacy is that everybody, all the countries are different, but uh, people are uh, alike in so many ways. So problems that you have in Korea, people have in many other countries too. And one problem that's interesting, I understand, in Korea is the, is the uh, tension and the political issue of how the younger generations take care of the older generations as we have more and more old people in Korea and fewer young people to, to pay the, the costs of taking care of the old. This is a problem many, many countries have, and it's... Uh, it may be a little more serious, a little more s severe in Korea than it is in uh, the United States, uh, but, but we all have this problem and we all have to face the problem. And so let's just step back and think of how things were 150 years ago or 200 years ago in, in, in all the countries of the world. Um, before we had governments that uh, uh, would step in to take care of the old people and the poor people uh, and the sick and people who couldn't take care of themselves, um, families took care of each other. And in, in many societies, in most societies, people would have many children because uh, uh, the, uh, the adults could take care of the, of the kids. And of course, when we're children, we need the, our moms and dads or our uncles and aunts to take care of us because um, it, takes, we, it takes us until we're 18 or 20 years old to be able to really fend for ourselves. And similarly, um, when we get to be 65, 70, 80 years old, our families need to help take care of us because we weaken, we, uh, uh, we, our health is not as good, and uh, uh, so the, the parents' generation, the middle generation, always has this responsibility that it feels uh, very seriously about. Um, we, when we have a new, uh, when one has a, a new baby, it's instinct. We realize we need to take care of the babies, we need to take care of the kids, and when our parents get really old, we need to take care of our parents. So. Again, before governments would step in, in many countries, people would have as many children as possible because the more children you have, the easier it is for your children to take care of you when you're old. Uh, it's much easier for four or five children to take care of an elderly parent than it is for um, one, or, one or two children. So, but, so here's the problem. In, um, in Korea, um, at, at the time of the end of the Korean War, the average uh, Korean uh, lady would have as, uh, roughly six children. And now, when, um, as um, um, medicine has in, uh, improved and women have the chance to work uh, and have careers, um, it isn't possible to have six uh, children. For it's it's very expensive to have many children. So the average Korean woman now has 1.4 children. So there are um, there are few children. That when there will there will be fewer adults when those children grow up to look after and help the older generation. Um, 
So that's the fundamental problem when we look at the high cost of, uh, of taking care of, uh, of the older generation. But it's, um, and it, it's true, we have that same problem in Japan, we have the problem in the United States, they have the problem in Russia. Um, but I think it, we have to realize that it's very important that, and it's, it's very good that the government has decided in, in all of these developed uh, countries like Korea and the United States uh, years ago that, it's, it's a, that we ought to take care of the elderly people. If we leave it just to individual families, some families just don't have enough money and don't have enough success to take care of the older people. Some, pe some families um, lose, uh, some, uh, have, have, some families lose a family member, like um, 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 let, let's say a woman is 60 years old and her only son dies. Does that mean that she doesn't have enough food? We, so as a society, democracies decided we need to step in and take care of each other as if, as, as a country, as if everyone was a member of the same family. That gives, that um, uh, keeps many old people out of poverty and it's, it's the right thing to do. It, it was the right ethical choice. So, um, what do we do when we have this problem that, that, um, that taking care of the old people is very expensive uh, and we don't have enough young people? Well, there are, uh, there are many things we can do. First, it probably makes sense for the old people to contribute something by extending the retirement age from 65 to 70 so that they are able to work longer and, uh, and before they receive benefits. That would cut the costs. Of, uh, of, um, of that are passed on to the younger people. Um, I think we need to we, we need to realize that we we will have to pay more taxes to pay for the benefits of the, of the elderly. In the United States, we have very very large costs coming uh, that that will uh, as the uh, the generation of which I'm a member uh, becomes older. Um, uh, and um, so costs will go up. Um, um, if, if we don't have enough young people to pay the, 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 um, the bill, um, I think we need to, um, each country, uh, Korea and the United States, needs, um, can really benefit from uh, uh, allowing people to immigrate to work in our economies because people from Mexico, in the case of the United States, and or, or China, in the case of uh, your country or mine, or Sri Lanka or, or wherever, they're able to contribute uh, to economic growth and to pay taxes and offset the, uh, the, the loss of workers that, uh, that we have as uh, birth rates have declined. So uh, this is a problem that we're facing in the modern world as uh, families have decided to have fewer children in modern times, but it's something that we can solve working together and each country can learn from the solutions that others have found.